Hey guys, so uh, a couple years ago I got this t-shirt. It's very dated. I think I got this in 2018. Uh, the Phil Swift, that's a lot of damage, you know. In the back it says, how about a little more? I don't know if you guys remember that, but it was a long time ago. So I still have the t-shirt, but uh, I was a big fan of Phil Swift back in the day. <laughs> that's for sure. I'm very excited about Twin Empire's new album. Uh, I've been, you know, very hyped about it. Uh, no new teasers yet. I saw a billboard got posted in the States in Columbus, Ohio. Um, so we're getting closer for sure. Um, if for context, if you didn't watch my last video about this topic, um, they put, they've been putting billboards, uh, around the world with their new logo and nothing else, just a logo and some colors. Um, very cryptic, very, you know, to those who don't know, they're like, what is that advertisement for? But those who know. Obviously, it's Twin Empires. Uh, very hyped for that. I know I, I met a person uh, yesterday, and they said, like, uh, I was talking about Twin Empires because I like them, and they're like, oh, you know, I listened to that in high school, and then, you know, stopped because uh, I think they have this the interesting, like, I guess, reception about them. Uh, a lot of people listen to Blurry Face at, like, a certain time in their lives, and then kind of got out of them at a certain time like just because they were popular they were into them uh and then when trench came out i mean they were popular but not really the same way so yeah but like i've been a fan of them ever since i heard i think tear my heart was the first song i heard because it was playing on the radio like five times in an hour or something like that uh and then stressed out and ride and heathens came next and i i love all the songs i think they have a great message uh that's why i really like them and I like that they they really inspire me to do what I do because they're they always talk about or Tether always talks about how you're kind of taking your emotions or you know f thoughts and feelings and using that to fuel creative work, which I think is um, pretty good, you know, and using that as a coping mechanism to like the stress that we have uh, in our day to day lives. Uh, it's pretty good and people have been doing that all throughout time um, it's not a new thing by any means but it's kind of just a good reminder and it's a good motivator for me to uh, keep working on music which is why I'm doing that someone commented a, a, a thing and I'm, I'm a small youtuber and I try to respond to people in a timely manner so if I don't respond to you just give it a little bit but I want to respond to every comment um, like if you have a suggestion for a font that I should use, leave it down below. I'll use the Minecraft font. I'll use anything. Um, but yeah, anyway, what else? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, if you leave a comment, just give it a little second. I will respond. Uh, someone commented and then deleted it, uh, so I apologize for not getting back in time. They said this. It was a nice um, comment. I just I should have gotten back. I'm sorry, personally and generally. Um, yeah, I'm super hyped for my new song. I posted like a time lapse of me making the cover for it, uh, like the art cover, art, um, a couple days ago, and that was like a rough draft version. So I'll share the final version of it on screen right now. Uh, and I like this. Uh, I used a uh, a setting like a forbidden setting on um uh, my pixel art program to like use wide pixels to make, and it kind of looks like Atari game. Uh, it's something very very retro, um, which I kind of thinks fits really well with the song. Um, and just the whole vibe of it. It makes things look flat, but I think I conveyed the depth pretty well, especially on the this version of it, um, compared to like my last version of it. Um, and the blue is really like, kind of uh, vindicative of the song, vindicative, indicative, in indicative of the song, because I feel like blue is like that bright blue is like similar to a, like a blue screen on like an old computer uh, it's new computer still blue screen, but it's not that same shade of like bright blue. And I feel like that's kind of the parallel between the human mind, like blue screen, being confused, having head spinning, crashing, things like that. Um, so it's kind of like that. That's just what I felt when I was making the art. I was trying to make the art represent the song and go like with it. It's like it's part of it. And like the colors, especially like when I hear that song, OK, this song is blue. So let's use blue. Uh, as the color scheme for it. I'm also going to be releasing um, sped up and slowed down versions of the song. Um, the slowed down wasn't isn't my favorite, but I think the sped up one is comparable, if not better than the original version, 
which makes me a little mad because I spent so long making the original and then for everything just to be faster and it be so much better and higher pitched, it's like, oh, well, it feels like I'm a little cheated um, just because I made it sound so good at the current speed, but I guess that's how it is. So I will be releasing those. It's going to be along with the release on March 22nd, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, I got to edit some videos and I got to work on some music, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.